Reflecting back over the last four days, you've seen some of the biggest challenges this service has ever faced. Uh, on Monday, 6,000 officers deployed on the streets of the capital. Clearly not enough, but of course we don't have foresight. Uh, and what you saw was the police service then mobilise, and by Monday lunchtime, huge numbers of officers being moved into the capital. So by Tuesday morning, I was able to brief the Prime Minister and say we will have the staff on the streets tonight to keep the people safe. And what you've seen since then is a seamless criminal justice system moving forward, putting people in front of the courts very quickly, and I'm told the Crown Court system will kick in very shortly. So the, the key focus now is to move on into normality. We cannot get it right all the time, certainly when you have events which have never been seen in the capital before. But let's be very clear on one thing. The vital distinction between policing and politics remains, and the police service will make the tactical decisions, and quite rightly and robustly, we should and must be held to account. If we're not, the system fails. So robust oversight, clear operational decisions, that's the British model, and that has sustained, and that has delivered. And you've seen very low very low numbers of injuries, the biggest number of injuries are, by, are to police officers, not the public. It shows minimum use of force, effective, robust tactics works.